Hello everyone, my name is Muriel F. Siebert, but you could just call me Mickey. I just arrived to New York with $500, a Sudabaker and a dream. I've been hired at Batching Company in the research department, and I'll be paid $65 a week. The way it works, everyone who has already been working there for some time gets to give the new kid one of the junk industries. I've been given airlines, motion pictures, things nobody wants. However, I noticed that men are being paid more than I am. That has me in a twist. Well, that's all I have to say. Until then, it's Lights Out from Mickey Siebert. September 1954. So I've decided to find a new job that will offer me equal pay, but to no avail as I am still being offered at least 60% less than men are. Do you want to know what makes me upset? When I submit my resume under the name Muriel F. Siebert, no one bats an eye. But when I submit my resume under the name M. F. Siebert, everyone loses their minds. What is seriously up with that? I decided to ask one of my clients if he knew where I could work that will offer me equal pay. He answered, don't be ridiculous, find a new job and work Hello. for yourself. I told him, don't you be ridiculous. It is really an unbelievable idea, but I am ready to face the odds. It's lights up from Mickey Siebert. S September. 1954. So I've decided to find a new job that will offer me equal pay, but to no avail, as I'm still being offered at least 60% less than men are. Do you know what makes me upset? When I submit my resume under the name Muriel F. Siebert, no one bats an eye. But when I submit my e resume under the name M. F. Siebert, everyone loses their minds. What is seriously up with that? I've asked one of my clients if he knew where I could go that will offer me equal pay. He answered, don't be ridiculous, buy a seat and work for yourself. I told him, don't you be ridiculous. It is really an unbelievable idea, but I am ready to face the odds. It's a life out from Mickey Siebert. May 1965. Hello again, Mickey's back. 10 long years after, I decided to go on my own and to buy a seat at the New York Stock Exchange. I've had this dream ever since I was a teen to get a job in Wall Street. However, I was turned down by the first nine men I asked to sponsor my application until a 10th agreed. He was David Rockefeller of Chase Manhattan Corporation. This is really great news. Well, it's lights out from Mickey Siebert. July, 1967. The exchange has told me that if I were admitted, my seat would cost me $400. $45,000. It also insisted that I get a bank to lend me $300,000 of the total price, something it has never asked before. The banks have refused to lend me the money unless the exchange accepts me at first. So I can't get the loan unless I am admitted, and I can't be admitted without the loan. I will get nowhere! Oh, that's just great. So fine and dandy. You know, I'm actually thinking that I'm going to found my own firm if this doesn't get founded first. Until I get the seat, it's Lights Out by Mickey Siebert. December 27th, 1967. Mickey's back on track. Today, December 27th, 1967, I was elected to the exchange, the first woman to do so. 
Being a woman has been an obstacle, but I've had more incentive than I would have had if I were a man. If I were a man, then maybe I wouldn't have got to the seat, since I wouldn't have tried looking for equal opportunity. If I'd been a man, then maybe I wouldn't have noticed discrimination against women, since it would affect me, right? However, I do not wish to be a man. I would be blind to the struggles a woman faces every day. And today, today, I own a seat on the New York Stock Exchange. It's lights out from Miggy Siebert. October 1972. Today was terrible, to say the least. When I was going to the board meeting at October 1972. Today was terrible, to say the least. When I was going to the board luncheon meeting of the sales executive club, I was not allowed to ride the elevator. Oh, was I furious? I had to go to the kitchen and walk up the back stairs. I had to go to the back stairs. That was very unfair for me to walk up the stairs and for men to enjoy the luxury of riding the elevator. Most would say I was overreacting when, uh, when I was dealing against the elevator issue, but I don't think so. Women are being discriminated every day in the most subtle ways. A woman gets about $13 a day, while a man in the same line of work gets about $21. There's really no difference between men and women. So why are women being treated differently than men? This matter is unfair. And I will get to the bottom of this. It's Lights Out from Mickey Siebert. February 1996. Hello. It's a good morning, is it not? Good old Mickey here. I'm just looking back at my life. I was superintendent of banking for a full five-year term. February 1996. Hello. It is a good morning, is it not? Good old Mickey here. I'm just looking back at my life. I was in I was superintendent of banking for a full five-year term. I bought my seat at the exchange. I merged my firm with J. Michaels. I did everything for myself. If you are going to sit there and wait for other people to do things for you, then you will soon be 80 years old and look back and say, Hey, what did I do? My mother had a God-given voice, and she was offered a place on the stage. But nice Jewish girls didn't go on the stage in those days. So, I grew up with a woman who was frustrated her entire life. I certainly wasn't going to continue that role. I vowed I would do whatever I wanted to do, and I did it. So, one must take a chance. I did it because I was searching for equal opportunity, and I also did it because if I won't, then who will? I fought, and still, to this day, I have never stopped fighting. Don't stop fighting for what you want, no matter the circumstances. There may be times when you break the quote, if you smile, things would work out, and you burst into tears. Crying is normal, but when you cry, don't ever leave what you have already been working on behind. Wipe those tears away, and instead of a smile, why not try a look of determination? It may not look pretty, and believe me, mine isn't, but it sure does do a lot more good than a fake smile. Maybe this video blog.